Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm just doing this little intro to let you know that this is a mystery kit by Diamond Art Club. It's the Fantasy Animal by Bridge Brigid Ashwood. If you would not like to see this completed um, and revealed, go ahead and click off of this video now. So anyway, let's go ahead and get on with the whipping chat. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Crafting with B. If you are new here, welcome. So glad to have you. And if you're returning, thank you so much for returning. I know that this isn't my typical intro to this, um, but I am recording in the living room this morning and I thought that I would record while I was working on my mystery painting. So far, I'm loving the way that it's looking. Um, let me get this out. <clears throat> the other one is in there, but this, turn it around so y'all can see it right side up is the one that I'm doing, the Mystery Kit Fantasy Animal by Br Brigid Ashwood. <clears throat> so far, I am loving this painting. I'm loving the way that the colors are coming out. Um, right now, I'm working on the ABs. I don't have a whole lot of time this morning to do this. Um, so I thought I would do this little whipping chat, and I don't know if I will add to it while I'm out and about today, or if I'll just go ahead and post it. Once I get this part done, I've got to do an unboxing this week as well, so I can get my last Timu unboxing done, which isn't that much. Um, but it's a small one. We can go ahead and get it done. And then everything else for this week, I'll have my live on Thursday at 8 p.m. And then my one on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. My den with the threes? No, far from it. Okay, I'm going to have to push this up just a little bit so I can see all the ones that I'm working on. Um, right now on this, I'm not using too many release papers. I'm just cutting a strip of it and then using my one release paper. And I leave that so I can cover the one that isn't done already. Let's see, today Josh is taking his mom to the doctor, so actually, and I don't have any kids as of right now. So hopefully all of that will be good. Um, speaking of which, I think it said that the microphone was working while ago. I hope so. Otherwise, I'm going to be talking to myself this whole time, which isn't unusual. What was that noise? Sounded like my granddaughter, so they might be coming in here in a minute. Um, but what all has been going on this week? Not a whole lot has been going on. Um, I am scheduled to DoorDash today. So I will be doing that. I've got to run a few errands before I start doing that today. Um, I'm going to go and get, I can't find my proof of insurance. And even though I have it on my app, I would rather have a paper one in the van as well. In case somebody else who is driving my car 
which my daughter drives it quite often, um, has it in case they need it. And then I am going to go pay a few bills. Hate doing that, but it has to be done. And then I'm going to door dash for the rest of the day. So hopefully I can make a little bit of extra money. I haven't door dashed in quite a while. I just set up my account again, which is fine. <clears throat> I didn't have any issues at all doing that. Um, I quit door dashing here in the town that I live because there, people just were not paying, tipping very well. And I know that sounds bad, but if I can't make so much per mile on an order, then it's not worth it because I'm basically doing it for nothing. When you, oops, I've been getting pretty good at doing that, and that one I put a little too much tension on. I don't know where that other drill went to. Oh, well. But anyway, if you're not making so much per mile, you're not making any money, and you're doing it for nothing. So... There are a few amounts that I decide per the mile, and I may have to accept a few to begin with that I normally wouldn't accept, just so that I can get it to, to where I can start getting the orders, because... It's been a long time, and I'm sure there's other door dashers here now. Um, it's hard to make any money here in the town that I live in. I'll have to cut that part out, probably. But... <coughs> anyway. Anyway. So I'm going to do that today. Um, see if I can make a little bit of extra money. And I'm going to start being, if it works out, I'm going to start doing DoorDash a little bit more. On probably Wednesdays and Thursdays. No guarantee that it'll be in this town. I may have to go to another town to do it, but that's okay. Um, so what is everybody working on? Like I said, I'm still working on this. I'm still working on Unicorn Family. And I'm still working on my cat. I've been spending a lot more time on this one than I anticipated just because I'm having so much fun doing it. I do not know where Stardust is at this morning. She has not made an appearance yet. Um, it is only about 8 o'clock in the morning. Yep, 8 o'clock in the morning. It's actually really nice today. Um... I don't know what the temperature is now, but I think it started out like 57. But it's probably well past that now. I've got the front door open and the screens open. And it's really nice so far. I think it's supposed to get up to like 87 today. And it's cloudy, so we'll see. Be sure you close that. Right. 
But anyway. Um, this weekend at work was okay. We didn't have a whole lot of issues. I did have... <clears throat> I did have a driver that was not very happy that they had to call me once they got in the door and got disconnected. Which was really strange because she said, well, my husband is out there doing it now. And I said, well, I still need you to call me for safety reasons. And she just was not having that. And I finally told her we cannot unload it until I hear from you. And she's like, fine, walks out. And then instead of calling the number on the slip of paper that I gave her to call me, she walks back in once it's done, which is fine. She let me know, but I was just trying to save her some steps on that. Um... But other than that, the weekend was pretty nice, no big issues. It was actually quite slow at times, which we have been a little bit slower than normal. Hopefully it'll pick back up. Um, still getting most of my hours, so it's okay. I think I left. 30 minutes early one day, which isn't too bad. And then last week I ended up staying over one day. And that was the day Josh had went home to help his mom because she had some water issues. Um, what else is going on? Not a whole lot. Let's see. Trying to think of what else has been going on that y'all would want to know about. Right now, instead of having my two cameras set up, in the living room, we have a smart TV to where I can put my phone screen on the TV so I can actually see what's going on with it. I could do something like that whenever I do my lives, but I don't have a smart TV in there. Eventually, one day I may get that, but right now I just don't have it. Um, so, like I said, I might go ahead and put part of my door dashing on here. I don't know if y'all would like to see that, but if it's a whip and chat, I will be working on my cross stitch out there. Just because if I get an order, it's a lot easier to put my cross stitch down. It is a printed cross stitch. So it's not like it is a counted one to where I would get messed up if I just laid it down because there's many times that I just lay it down. Either my lunch break is over with at work, which is the main place that I work on it. And then a lot of times I'll work on it in the car before I go into work. I did happen to misplace it for a long time. And guess where I found it at? I found it under a pile of diamond paintings. Yeah, imagine that. I would never have that many diamond paintings around my house. <coughs> Which is actually going to start being the first places that I look. Because I don't know if I told y'all about me 
looking and looking and looking for my staple gun. Could not find it anywhere. Just could not find it. And I had some paintings that I wanted to put up so that I did not, so that they didn't get ruined. And looked everywhere for it and finally decided, well, I'm just going to go out and buy another one. So I did. And guess what I found two days later? Yep, my staple gun. And where did I find that staple gun? Underneath a pile of diamond paintings. <clears throat> Crazy, I know. But that is so from now on if I'm looking for something, that's the first place I'll start looking for. Instead of the last place. Did I get all the twos? No, the, nope, still got some right here. This, oh, by the way, this is my other AB. It's like a grayish AB. Let me see if I can find it. So they are. It's not really showing up in the camera very well. Nope, nope. Oh, still not showing up very well. It's not showing all the sparkle on it. But anyway, it is a gray AB. Um, I will be doing probably a little, a different intro in here telling you before I go into this part, add it to it, just telling you, hey, uh, this is a mystery painting from Diamond Art Club. If you do not want to see what the picture is, I am working on this while I'm doing my whip and chat or something like that, just in case somebody doesn't want to see this picture. <clears throat> Whether a partially or in full. Um but it'll just give them an update because before I quit working on this today, um, I will take a picture of what I've gotten done so far and put it either at the end of this video or in the beginning of the video or something. I'm not sure which. Or who knows, it may be right here. See what I just did there? Sometimes tweezers can be a pain. But I'm having a lot better luck with tweezers than I am anything else. Um, I do have, oops, wrong one. Get the one that's actually sharpened. I do have my wax pencils that I could use. But my only problem with those, this part it works fine on. Okay, um, it, and if I have rounds, this wax pencil works pretty good. But on squares, if you're having to squish them in between two other ones and it's a tighter fitting square painting, then it can be a pain because you're pushing down on the wax and it just doesn't work very well. Okay, so the next color that we are going to do, which one should it be? Should I do the 310? Or the hourglass? Or the seas? Or the squiggly? I don't know. Or the alien? I think I might do the alien. There's not that many of them. So we will go ahead, if you can see what I'm talking about whenever I say alien, come on, focus. There it goes. 
I'm going to have to get some of that static guard and kind of rub it along the inside of my jars because there is still a lot of static in these drills and I started to pick that up. That's not what I want. I want this one. which does have a two-placer on the end of it. And this is color 762. Um, not sure exactly what the name of the color is, but it's a lighter, a real light gray. But I don't have very many of these right here, so we're only going to do have a few. And is that it? Nope, there's one more down here. But these colors on this painting are just blending so well together. I haven't even got to the animal part of this, and I absolutely love it. It's like a, I don't know if you'd say Celtic. I don't know what the design is called, but very, very pretty. Okay, so I think I'm going to do the 310 next. And here pretty soon, I'm going to have to have to open up a new bag of 310. I've already poured what I had in the little Ziploc bag in here. And I haven't even gotten very far into this painting. And it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of 310 so far, but there has been. But there's also been a lot of 823 and 939. So we've got the blacks and the really dark blues that I'm working with. Um, I was so excited whenever I got to work. Can you see this over here? I don't think you can. Let me see. Scoot you over just for a minute. This color right here. I was so excited whenever I got to that color. Okay. Let's move it back to the one that I'm working on. I wish I could zoom in on this one, but I can't. I'm sorry. But we're working. What was that? Oh. Stuff just falling down on me. Typical thing. Um, we did get rid of the mattress in the back room. It was spring cleanup, so I have room to move around back there so that I can start cleaning out that room for the kids. So I can start on that playroom, which I might try to do a little bit this afternoon. Not sure. I probably won't record any of that because that room is an absolute disaster right now. I am just using it as storage for a bunch of my craft stuff that I have no clue where I'm going to put it at whenever I make that into a room for them. But if I can find like an extra couch or something, I might put a couch in there for them. And I'm probably going to put a bed in there. And there's already a small TV in there. I'll put the computer in there and maybe an xbox or something but the bed will be in there just because in case courtney works late or something i can go ahead and put them down to bed before she gets home although if that happens she's going to be down here getting them up in the morning for school um, 
What else is going on? Not actually a whole lot. I'm hoping that I can at least make like $50 today door dashing, which I know that is not much. But if I can make like $100 a week, that would help out tremendously. I would love it if I could make more than that, but it's probably not going to happen. Especially not in this small town. Um, I'm going to have to, I don't know where my actual DoorDash bag is, but I do have some other insulated bags, and I will use those instead. In fact, I'm probably going to go out to Walmart. I think I saw some insulated bags in their clearance area. So I might go out there and get one of those. So that I'll have a smaller one and a bigger one in case I need it. And they have the flat bottoms on them. And then I have my one that you just, you can actually plug it in and it'll keep stuff warm if you plug it into the USB. So I'll probably take that with me as well, especially if I'm taking the food on a longer drive. But we'll see. Okay, we have six more of these three tens to do. I know this isn't the most exciting whip and chat today, but I wanted to get one out and I really need to do in the unboxing. I should have done it yesterday, but I didn't. And I'm going to kind of combine some stuff because I've only got one diamond painting to show you from my last Timu order. But while my mom was in the hospital, I got a big Timu order and I ended up not showing a lot of that stuff on here. So I think I'm going to show you a few things that I have not opened off of it. Um, and then that will be it for my Timu orders. Maybe in a few weeks, I might try to get something else. There's a few things that I've got my eye on. January's got me looking at more camper ones that I really, really want. So I might be trying to get one of those here pretty soon. But anyway let's see like i said stardust hasn't made an appearance this morning i do have my coffee here which i've just got it in a regular cup and it's got french vanilla creamer in it So good. And I've got it on my little. This one in here is not my Mickey Mouse warmer. This one in here is actually just a candle warmer plate. Which most of the time I have wax melts. In a just a little ceramic coffee cup that I got somewhere, I don't remember where, but I have wax melts in there that I set on there and they melt. Or if I have a candle that's getting down to the bottom of it and you can't quite light the candle, I'll set that candle on there. But whenever I'm having my coffee in the mornings, I just put my coffee cup on it to keep it warm while I'm drinking it because I drink my coffee very, very slow. And we are doing C, which is the color number 312. 
It's a bluish color. Let's see. Like I said, there is a lot of blues in this one. But I am loving this painting so far. I can't wait till I get down to wherever the animal is at so I can kind of see what type of animal we might be diamond painting. Um, scoops. I know some of y'all, I think Tita said that she peeked and she liked it. Um, what this one was. Um, <clears throat> so I know that this is going to just be really, really pretty. I haven't peeked on this one yet. And which is amazing because I've had, I've had this mystery painting for a long time. Um, so Mother's Day is coming up here pretty soon. I, of course, will be working that day. It always falls on, it's always on a Sunday, so it's always on a day that I work. Which I love my main job only having to work three days a week. Even though it is a longer shift, but it's okay. Let's see. Like I said, this is going to be really, really pretty. But how long have we been on here? I have no clue. And is that 31 minutes? I think it's 31 minutes. It's okay. We'll go a little bit longer on here. Um, <clears throat> I wish I had time to do a longer. No, it's probably only 21 minutes. I need to get my glasses redone because with these, I can't quite see as well as my contacts because I didn't get a new pair of glasses last year. I just got my contacts. So I am going to have to get a new pair of glasses soon, which... I may go ahead and try to make that appointment for next week. Um, probably on Thursday. I need to go grocery shopping today, but I really don't want to, so... Probably won't do that either. I wish that I could just make a grocery pickup now and pick it up here in town, but we don't have that here. I have to drive all the way out of town to do grocery pickups, which is fine because we normally go out of town to grocery shop anyway. Um, if I shopped here, the prices are outrageous because there's hardly any competition for them. Like, for example, the other day, I wanted to make some chicken sandwiches with a rotisserie chicken. I'd made some the week before with a rotisserie chicken that I'd gotten at Walmart. And I paid $7 for it, I think. Well, it was really good. Everything was great about that rotisserie chicken. No, no issues. It was a nice size rotisserie chicken. Then I wanted some the next week, and we had already been, I'd done a grocery pickup, and I couldn't get the rotisserie chicken on the grocery pickup already cooked. 
So I thought I'll just pick up one at the local store that we have here in town, which is Harps. And that rotisserie chicken here <clears throat> was $8, almost $9. It was a lot smaller. Didn't taste nearly as good. So from now on, I will be buying mine elsewhere whenever I go grocery shopping. Because I like to make get those and make chicken sandwiches out of them. Make them sort of like a grilled cheese sandwich, except I use that chicken. I really like the lemon pepper one. That one's my favorite. But the traditional one is good, too. But I'll put that, that I'll tear off pieces of the meat and put on there for that. And then I'll put a piece of cheddar cheese on it. Make sure the bread is toasted. Add a little bit of mayonnaise to it. It is so good. Love it. <clears throat> In fact, tonight I think we're having Philly cheesesteaks for dinner, which those will be really good, too. I'll have to go out here in a little bit and get the hoagie buns for that, though. Or sub, sub buns, whatever you want to call them. Okay. Like I said, this is turning out really pretty. Um, the other morning whenever I was working on this, and I will post a picture somewhere in here. But I'll show you what happens whenever I let stardust in my lap while I'm diamond painting. I've actually got this rolled up right here, and I'll show you what happens. Especially this time of year. Now, I don't know if you can hear it, but Bullet is over there snoring away. Yesterday, whenever the trash truck came in, um, they were they had several of them going through because it was spring cleanup and they were picking stuff up. He was absolutely not having it whenever the trash truck was out there grabbing all of the like the mattress that we had out there, the old dresser, just some stuff that we had, some junk that we had out there. We had a lot more, but. This time of year, whenever the scrappers know that the that people are putting stuff out for spring cleanup, they'll come through and get all the metal stuff. So we had had like a washer and dryer out there that he had brought over from his mom's house so that she could get rid of it. And that was gone the very first day whenever we put that out there. There was some plastic tubs that were still good. I just hadn't cleaned them out or anything. So somebody took those, which I don't mind if they take them as anything that's out there in that pile. I don't mind if they take as long as they don't leave a big mess. One year we had that going on and somebody was out there going through the stuff that we had and they just left the biggest mess. And they went through it and then just left a big mess there with stuff out in the road that we had to clean up. Otherwise, we would have gotten in trouble with the city. And it's times like that that... I don't want to let people go through it, but this year, everybody was really respectful, at least on my my part, and didn't do anything like that, so we're okay. <clears throat> I 
Um, so I really don't have anything else to talk about right now. Other, oh, I'm very proud of Remy. Yesterday we had no big accidents in her potty training, so she's doing a lot better every day. Um, and she helped me bake some muffins, or she at least poured the milk in the muffins for me to bake them. They were like some birthday cake muffins. I got some more to make. Um, probably today or tomorrow. Can't remember what type it is. Is it chocolate chip or another of the birthday cake ones? I don't know. But they only had two of them out at our Walmart. So I'll probably make another one of those pretty soon. They didn't take long at all to make. During the live the other day, y'all had me wanting to make cookies in the air fryer, and I haven't done that yet, but that might be something that I try today. My daughter gave me a recipe that's really easy to do. It's like a cake mix, an egg, and a container of Cool Whip to make some cooked dough. And then, I believe, powdered sugar on top of it. So I might try to make the, some of those. Um, but anyway... I will see everyone later. I hope all of y'all have a good day. Um, it's early in the morning, so, or early for me. I know this is nowhere near early for DP Crazy Lady and Lazy Retired Granny because they're up well before the sun comes up most days. But it's early for me. It's like 8.30 in the morning. I normally sleep to about 7, 7.30. I'm going to finish off my coffee. I'm going to get ready and go to go door dashing here a little bit. I'm going to go out and clean out my car just a little bit. So everyone take care. I will see you next time. If you don't mind, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share. I love getting the comments. And I will see you next time. Bye.